So, you want to start a career in information technology, but you have no idea where to start. Maybe you did some Google searches and looked at some YouTube videos, but they all have this technical terms, system administration, network administration, cybersecurity, Linux, and on and on. And you leave your search much more confused than you enter it. In this video, I want to shine some light and search you are doing. I want to sparkle some aha moments for you by breaking them down into step by step. And to do so, I'm going to pretend I have zero experience in information technology and show you the process I would go through to land my first IT job. Okay, so before we get started, there's an assumption I have to make here, which is the fact that you are digitally literate or that I am digitally literate. What do I mean by that? You need to have the basic skills of operating computer, things like you can turn it on and off, install software and use those software relatively easily. If you don't know how to send an email, for instance, your starting point is much farther back than what the scope of this video is. That being said, if you are in that group, I will link a course by Microsoft about digital literacy to help you out. With that out of the way, let's get back into finding me a job. But the first thing I would do is research. I'd start by looking at different IT fields and figure out which direction I want to get into. Here's where I'm going to start. This is a link from Reddit that someone put up showing a roadmap of what an, what an IT career might look like. This is a great starting point. It's split into different IT fields, shows you the possible compensations and the career path you could take. Now, this isn't perfect. Uh, you never really move through a career path in a straight line, and you're going to be doing work from different categories regardless of which position you're in. So while I'm looking at this roadmap, I'm trying to figure out which categories I'm interested in and the field that has the least barrier to entry for me. Here is where my research would start. I would look into all the big categories such as service infrastructure, network technology, DevOps and cloud technology and figure out what early career positions I should go for in order to advance in, in those categories I'm interested in. If I'm in school, I would start looking at some of the internship positions, but let's assume I'm not. So we'll ignore those positions. Additionally, I'm going to ignore the whole software development section because it is practically its own career. For the interest of time, let's say I did a bunch of research on all the entry level jobs, as well as where the career trajectory would lead to and decided that hardware technician, help desk technician, and desktop support technician from this list are what I want to go for. At this point, I would move on to step two and identify skills needed to get the jobs I mentioned. During this step, I would just look at a bunch of job listings in my area and take note of all the skills and qualification they require. So let's do that right now. I've gone ahead and looked for the three different positions on indeed.com. Indeed.com is just a job uh, searching platform. There's You could use Glassdoor, LinkedIn, uh, Google. There's a bunch of them. So I've, you know, I've looked at for my positions. So this one is desktop support um, in the Boston area. Uh, and then I've changed, I've filtered it to entry level positions. So just looking at the first one, help desk analyst, I'm going to go to the qualifications uh, and just look for skills, technical jargon that that I might need to look up and fi um, and end up learning. So for this one, uh, maintain a strong knowledge of software applications, operating systems, servers, networks, and other technologies that are included in supported customer agreements. Uh, and then other skills are more soft skills, so like communication, organizational skills, customer service, uh, troubleshooting is a big one. Uh, let's look at the next one. Uh, this one also basic network technologies, uh, DHCP, DNS, uh, Microsoft Office 365, Windows 10 troubleshooting, Mac, uh, Mac OS troubleshooting. All right, here's a good one. Windows Server 2008 to 2019. Officer 65, uh, firewall networking skills, uh, mobile knowledge, Mac operating, uh, Mac operating system, uh, a bunch of things, right? So on Indeed, what I what I can look at is network and servers, and it told me like keywords that I that I need to know. So you can see Active Directory is mentioned a, a bunch of times. Microsoft Windows servers mentioned a, a bunch of time, TCP, TCP IP, um, same thing in desktop support jobs. 
Active Directory mentioned quite a lot. VPN, TCP, TCP IP, LAN, Microsoft Windows Server, uh, and then help desk as well. Active Directory, Microsoft Windows Server, TCP, TCP IP. Uh, so you can kind of get a collective understanding of what's, what are the skills that are required and what tech is required. So once I've looked at the skills needed, I need to find a way to get them. And that would be step three, obtain the skills needed. But there are multiple ways to go about this. You can do it by yourself, which is probably the hardest method. You can also get some kind of education, whether that's a bachelor's, an, associate, an associate's, or some kind of online program or boot camp. Uh, these are things you need to evaluate for yourself and find what works for you based on your circumstance. So for my made up scenario, let's say I'm doing it all on my own. In that case, I'm gonna have to find some free or cheap online courses that cover IT fundamentals. For me, I would do Google's IT Support Professional Certificate Program. It's $39 a month, but it provides five high-level courses, uh, which you can stop paying for as soon as you're done. Other programs that might uh, that might work are courses on Coursera, Udemy, uh, LinkedIn Learning, uh, and YouTube. YouTube has a bunch of uh, free uh, resources. Uh, another great way to learn or figure out what you, you should learn is to look at college courses required for IT degree. So for instance, here's a page on, uh, from Northeastern. You know, you can ignore all the foundational courses and look at um, the major requirements. Um, and you could just, you could literally Google these things um, or even on YouTube and you'll find plenty of resources to learn about the topics. And that's a great free way to, um, to get some like foundational knowledge. So while we're learning, we're also going to do step four, which is to get some experience and certifications. Here is where I take it to the next level and start doing some home labs and projects. So in my, in my scenario, I might look to have a bunch of virtual machines uh, on my desktop uh, maybe I create a Windows domain controller and have the other wind, uh, the other VMs join to that domain. In that scenario, I would be learning Active Directory, virtual machines, uh, Windows servers, uh, which are some of the things that were mentioned when we looked at the desktop positions. It could also be finding an old hardware and setting it up with Linux. Uh, if you know Linux, it would give you uh, a leg up and and entry level roles as well. At the same time, I'm going to find ways to get certifications. In my scenario, I'd be going for the CompTIA A+, and the CompTIA Network+, Plus, and in that order specifically. Uh, the reason being that, one, CompTIA is non-vendor specific, so I'm not gonna be tied to like a specific role like a Microsoft or a Cisco role. And the second reason being that they are the most sought out certifications in the positions that I was looking at. So if we go back to the desktop uh, and we look at certifications, you can see CompTIA A+. Uh, for desktop support, there's 16 in my area, or 16 times that they're mentioned. CompTIA Network Plus is mentioned 12 times. Um, if we go to Hardware Technician, again, CompTIA A Plus, 15 times it was mentioned. CompTIA Network Plus, five times. Uh, and then the Help Desk, not as much, but CompTIA four times. But you get, you get the point, if I'm gonna get a certification, I would go for the CompTIA one first. Yeah, so once I have my certifications and I have good foundational knowledge, I'm gonna move on to step five, which is to start networking with people and apply to jobs. Uh, networking can be done via LinkedIn. Uh, you could look at job postings and reach out to the people posting on those jobs. Maybe you, you can join groups like on Facebook groups or Sometimes Discord groups could be a good way uh, to network. And I would just, I would start applying for jobs. It doesn't matter if uh, if you're not qualified yet. Know that entry level positions can sometimes be ridiculous and require several years of experience, uh, even though they're entry level. Um, so it's, it's, it's not your fault that you're not qualified. So yeah, sometimes just employers can be ridiculous. Uh, so just keep trying. All it takes is for one company to say yes, 
uh, and to take a chance on you. So uh, I wish you best of luck on everything. Uh, let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything. Uh, until next time, peace.